Look at No-Tail as well. He's trying to contest these bounty runes. The Don't often see this, begins. Radiant team playing into the bottom bounties. GH does get the stun. Two for two across the board. And No-Tail there with the early heavenly Radiant grace. Curry as we heart snipes killed. out the courier of RTW. Oh, taking a bit of damage on the way out. Ooh, Saxa will die. Mind control under the tower with a gush and the right click hit. Kuro TPs all the way back to Fountain. So Sam's going to be left here with a straight 1v1, at least for now. MC? And he's dead to Saxa. They just go back in with the stuns they've got. Stormhammer arrow. Yeah, he runs back with his boots. And then in that mid lane, 5-0 for 5-0. Very even between Miracle and Topson. But Oracle level 3 really is that massive turning point when you, you go from 90 to 180 burst damage on the Purifying Flames. They start chaining them all together. Oh. They nearly had Kuro there. Top tower. But Kotal with boots. Plenty of movement speed to dodge the arrow in the end. Down in that bottom lane, Dar Observe Ward scouting out and allowing GH here to try and drag waves around. Contesting under the nose of LTW. Leaving a kind of weird 1v1 between No Tail and Wii. Omni versus DP. mid. Fortune's end. Ah, doesn't quite connect. Fraction of a second too late there. GH is also going to rotate in to make sure there's no follow through. Yeah, Thompson might actually be in a bit of trouble if he steps forward again. Radiant yeah, he's playing Austin. out of that vision range. You know, there's like, like a little bit of vision on the ramp. Tipping GH. Oh, he's got the ward. He saw him move there. <laughs> Stop wasting your time. And there's the roll in with the Phantom Strike. Kick back. Topson has a Fairy Fire to play around with. And the Heavenly Grace, but he's still going to fall. No tail. Can't do too much after that. Well, bottom, we, no more spirit siphons, and the right clicks from RTW, one more will get him another bonus. Oh, the fairy fire, RTW going in very deep, he's going to die to tower here, traded out by we. Extraordinarily close. That's the thing, you know, you were saying this lane setup from Nigma, the fact that Slark wants to keep chasing the DP. Miracle, oh my god, the Purifying Flames, he's got Fairy Fire and the final click! Topson gets him with a touch of the right click attack. We're right, going in for more. He sure is. Radiant he's a, being a real aggressive little fishy boy. Mind Control's gonna give him another essence shift stack. Three built up for him now. Four minutes in, first rotation of the Slark. Now GH dying as Topson, he just burst him down at the bottom rune. Got to be so careful. Topson doesn't really have enough mana here to keep pressing that damage forward, but he's got clarity, he's got urn. 
Do you think it's the same? Do you think he's like figured out this build now? Double null, earn, brown boots, E blade, bloodstone. Every game. <laughs>
That pesky DP. Oh, bounty rune's coming, and Thompson. A bit of a risky play going into this area. Immediately ravaged, blown up by Miracle. All right, then. The roll from GH. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, but the, oh, what? The arrow was flying. Final projectile from the right click of Marana. Hell yeah. Good little move from Wee, though. Second exorcism gets him a tier one in the mid lane, silencing that Omni Knight. Moonlight like Shadow gives them a nice bit of safety there as Thompson turns with a bit of damage. Who have they found? Cottle. Will O Wisp is dropped onto Sven's head. Kuroki expending his ultimate and escaping with his life. E everywhere you look. Oh my god, is Kuro dying? Yeah, fortune's dent. <laughs> and look what's queued up for Topson. <laughs> the... Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The T-Blade is coming. Enigma making a move towards Alti W. That's Slark. He's got his hand on Midas. He's used it once. Surrounded by Enigma heroes, though. And oh, look at him. He's slipping out of there. He's escaped. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Be fearless. He doesn't have Ravage, so not really a fight that Enigma can take, it feels like. An arrow there onto MC, gushes back Saxa. No tail with Topson. We'll be able to keep that sustained push going with the catapult wave. So it gives an opportunity for Wee to keep pushing bot, but Mind Control is just going to die for it. Easy pickings, and now Kuroki's stuck here with no TP available. Topson's going to find him. There is no way out for this Cottle. Burst into oblivion. Topson, one more Purifying Flames, and a double kill for him. Take out that tier one, and they can now start shifting in for the mid tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer are scattered. <laughs> Radiant structures are fortified. The armor. I just want you to play like Seb. I just want you to play like Seb. Go farm the ancients. Nothing. Go sit in our triangle and get some gold, mate. I mean, he's playing, he's playing Tide, you know? Exact same scenario. Well, PA is getting closer to the Battle Fury. That is the real big win condition here for Nigma, keeping Miracle safe. And like you've been saying, he's had a reasonably good game so far. Middle tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower. Is Does we want to pop Exo for this? It looks like he's going to get it done without it. OG, not really want to contest the bottom tier one. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And that one bottom tower. OG ward, or I guess the two OG wards up top, they, they see so much here. Allowing No-Tail to push out the wave, an extra wave. Sees Mind Control coming in. They know that PA isn't there, so she must be in the triangle. Then. With the Moonlight Shadow, they're going to try and make a play in multiple lanes. Again, up at Radiant's top, they catch out Mind Control, attack. trying to pick off the Tidehunter, and the TPs are coming up as bottom lane. They try and make a jump, but Seb doesn't find the stun. That was, that was a really nice attempt. Phase drums, casual gloves of haste. We'll see if it turns into anything, but I doubt it. Radiant are scanning. Like, what's next for Pos 3, Sven? Do you... Oh, roll in. GH trying to make a move on to Omni Knight. 
I don't know if they can do this into this Radiant Triangle area. They do pop Exorcism, but a good arrow holds back Wii as RTW, the rest of OG, retreating to the left-hand side. Yours up with a counter no-tail, forcing out the Guardian Angel, but the Ravage is there. On to Chopson. A nice little ghost have to pop, but the Will-O-Wisp will catch him on his way out. Slark, Marana, all having to run. And that Seb Sven, he's on the other side of the map farming. His bottom tower is under attack. Well, there's no more leaps. Good storm hammer, but Saxa blown up by Wii. Final crypt swarm there, and this five-man maneuver in from Nigma, huge. Radiant structures are fortified. Name It sure is farming time. But yeah, what's next for position three, Sven? Like, phase drum seems pretty good, but what's his actual big item? Dyer are scanning. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower. Oh, RTW. Is under Trying to fill that role with a good pounce at the fortune's end, finding Kuro, and RTW claiming yet another stack of Angie. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ooh. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Miracle has no TP. 25 seconds. Topson's invis blur. He ran right, he ran left. Marana scouting and hunting Radiant's in the trees. Miracle, he's found the one path. He's found the one avenue to escape. Oh, Miracle, you bloody mastermind. Top lane, they're gonna find mind control though. Slark and Sven both converging onto the watermelon. And MC, dead to right. Looks like a couple more hits. Still required. RTW even popping the Shadow Dance there. Interesting. Radiant's top tower has been denied. Yeah. <laughs> He ran right, he ran left, he ran up, and then he ran down. He just did this whole little cycle around that bottom lane. Really wonderful reads. I guess you're also worried about like E-Blade on tops and when that comes out. Yeah, can't forget it. Seb jumped on by four heroes from Nigma. Uh, no way out of this. 18 one charges, he's gonna keep them up his sleeve for next time. But this means Roshan's alive with Exorcism ready for Nigma. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Gives them a nice five minute window. Yeah, OG can't get in here. They're spreading wide across the map, trying to finish off some of these key items they've been waiting for. That silver edge on Slark's gonna be a pretty big one. And he's only 400 gold away from it. Dyer's bottom tower. Omni Knight aiming for a four staff, but he's already got all the items he needs. Boots, wind lace, wand. That's it. Omni's good. That's a lot of burst damage. Blur is there, roll in, silence. GH stops the follow through. Thompson doesn't get the finish. And now the Will of Wisp, but the Ulsef the DNA. Dagger forward, as is in trouble. They've caught out Thompson, there's the false promise. Can he get away in TP home? He's gonna get caught in and hypnotized by the big white light from Kuro. And there's no way that Thompson can retreat now. Kicked out, Spirit Siphon's there. He's healing up a decent amount, but Thompson, he's got no TP. Oh, he doesn't get it. Age is still in hand. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, they really want to find Miracle. You kill him twice here. Slark finds him. 
That's the Silver Edge used already for the first kill. And the rest of Nigma, they're trying to come down here. Mind Control is coming down. They stun up Miracle, half HP, and he's burst down. Can't Phantom Strike away. He'd just taken the talent. So maybe if we was a little bit closer, there was a chance of escape. But OG, they're on the run forward. The Blinding Light trying to push them back, but Kuroki has been stunned and broken. Slark once more. And Sven, with that blink, able to close the gap as well. That MC. Yeah, you were right. They needed someone to front line and actually you know, kickstart the action. Earth Spirit being eyed up. Hmm. And that cloak. <laughs> oh dear. He's a... Oh, he's body blocked by the creeps. No tail, the wind lace is working wonders. But Kuro's actually cut him off. Oh, guardian angel, what? He saved himself. Jeez. In comes the rest of OG, and they're trying to think about this one. Enigma on the low ground in a kind of an awkward position, but they get the Yules onto the Oracle. Tops has been caught up and stunned, but RTW arrives. The big ravage might control with that blink and jump in. Out goes Topson and no tail follows. RTW going for the TP home, but the Will O' Wisp, the Hypnotized catches and they've blown them up. Two core heroes plus the Omni all removed as Enigma. Their cooldowns come back up and they really do just run rampant. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, maybe he could have. Poor choice. And Slark. Oh, sucks. Uh, two leaps left. Looks like he's Radiance all right. Middle tower is under attack. Anyone? Shadows take us. Anyone hiding behind her? Still feels like Nigma have like a struggle with keeping their lanes maintained. Like, every time I look at the map, OG has already pushed the lanes across the river. Radiant are scanning. Fear not heresy. Yes. Fourth place in the GPM. Keeps that spot going. Slark, pretty deep dive here. Again, playing around these long cooldown ultimates. RTW taking Monk Control low, but the silence onto the Omni Knight and Miracle. Nice false promise there. Keeps no tail alive, so the heals will keep coming. They need to get RTW out though, as we spirit siphoning through them all. Purification comes from no tail. And we, he's moved up the high ground. He's one versus four, but the Yule Scepter up, the fortunes end down. Kicked away, GH saved the day, and now rolls away. Oh my god, Nigma really playing it incredibly tight there as Miracle poking Prodding and getting the jump onto Saxa. Finds the initiation he needs. Gush towards Thompson. Got strength though. Sven wants in. Jumps forward towards the Miracle PA, but they've got the Yules up into the air, and now the Will of comes. Dragging both of them inside, and Seb's annihilated. We are as godlike. RTW gonna run away. And Arrow will stop the advance of Nigma now. But they're still pinging for more targets. Slark, it looks like he will be able to escape from this. But the rest of them might not be so lucky. Fortune's End doesn't bring him down from the Yules there. But an E-Blade and the magic damage will take out GH. We with that Exo. Oh, he doesn't, does he? Oh, dearie me. Thompson picked apart. We and Miracle pairing up beautifully. They have Blink Ravage. They use it, and they catch the Slark. I don't know if they can see him. 
They get the silence on him, they turn with the arrow, the silver edge there, mind control dropping, but the Yule's under PA stops Enigma from blowing anyone else up just now. The trouble is RCW with the Shadow Dance, he's a slippery devil and gets away from danger, but this is OG who have expended a decent amount to try and stay in the fight and losing a couple of heroes in the process. Slark can't stand up to it. One and a half minutes for Roshan. Oh, do they have revealed the dust from mind control? RTW has gone into his own death and he is controlled up. The time. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Bounty. I think they heard the Silver Edge. And then Radiant's they were just like, maybe fallen. he's coming towards us. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And Desso for the tier three. Working wonders here. What's what's the defense plan? Radiant's top tower. OG don't seem to have one with two heroes dead. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. Radiant's top barracks are under Radiant's attack. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. LTW pinging the one hero that's Dying causing him a lot of misery. Keeper of the Light is missing. <laughs> I wonder if it's No Tail and Sam asking, like, what, what's what's happening in these fights, LTW? What, what's going wrong? He just pings the castle. Him. Kuroki is wrong. The prize is mine. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And he's letting this you know, Earth Spirit and PA just keep on jumping with the Chakra Magic. The kickback, Sven's pop God Strength, and they've used up the Cottle, but the arrow there on PA may give them an opportunity. Is the beacon even Sven chases forwards towards the Cottle? That's what the ping was for. RTW said, go kill the Cottle, but they can't do it. Stunned back from the Storm Hammer again, and that Will of Wisp is kind of wasted. But the jump from Nigma still continuing forward as the ghosts are falling and Sam is falling. The Ravage comes now, and they focus the big targets. Thompson and Sam both down, and RTW, he is struggling to do any damage. GH is going to be the only hero he can kill is the false promises there onto the slog. Now back onto the PA, but Nigma are here in force as the PA and we are triple killing and mega killing through the rest of OG. Who's left now? It's Saxa and RTW. A buyback from Notel, but Mirana falling. A miracle double. Always oh, RTW going in for this? That is risky. Silent stop. He didn't get dog packed off. That is a lot of damage that he has to really sustain through. They've got no tail behind him. Doesn't get to the high ground. He's still being burst down, but they don't have reveal anymore. Turning on towards the no tail. Omni Knight now could be a dieback from him. All spells on cooldown and no tail. Giving over another streak to Miracle. Miracle just jumps in. Sven's down to like half HP immediately, but it's a good break on the PA and Miracle's dead. Good move from OG with the limited resources they've got, making it work. And yeah, we, BKB TP, nothing to stop it. Arrow slides past the tide. They've got the Yule Scepter up to find mind control. And at least something here. Out of all the buybacks and the desperation from OG, they get something. Yeah, they need to. Oh, he's still got plenty. Got 
highest nice. courier just up above Roshan, yeah. <laughs> Wanders into the pit like, oh, what's happening in here? Roll in from GH, trying to make the initiation happen. Kuro is also wandered in the pit and Sam just slays him. Roshan dead, GH snatches it. The Earth Spirit grabs it under the very nose here of the Slark and the Sven. As the arrow in the Yawn and DP gets caught a little bit, but they'll focus the Earth Spirit instead. RTW oh, turning this game on its head as the Wii DP doesn't have BKB. Or will in a second, though. Yules up onto that Mirana to try and stop the initiation, but doesn't BKB before the Storm Anna lands. Now the Slark is pummeling into her, pops the Exo, and runs away. Trying to get back into battle with the rest of his team, but OG are now the ones with five alive. Seb going in, the rabbit from Mind Control saves up, and Wii's blown up. That E Blade combo from Thompson removing Wii from the game, and the jump back in again from RTW. The next level play, Motel says they've got the PA. She's got BKB. Forced to use it as the Fortune's End arrows were coming, but look at RTW. The Kahana's on this man, diving tier 4s. He doesn't have Aegis, but he's got cheese. Oh, pushed out. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Twenty wand. The time. Dyer are scanning. It's all down to the nether shawl on Topson. 8% spell damage. Yule's on the castle. Arrow, of course, always going to be perfectly timed for Saxa and an easy pick. Dead with no buyback for 45 seconds. I mean, OG's tier 4s are being pushed by creeps. There's a catapult in their base. Radiant yeah. are scanning. <laughs> Deary me. They're all honestly, the turning point is when RTW pinged the Keeper of the Light and Seb, Seb has just been focusing Cottel every fight. The prize is mine. <laughs> Allies disappear. Yeah, nice to see him going for a solar crest now then. Moonlight Shadow from OG, smoke from Nigma. Slark finds the PA, immediate blur after the break. Arrow. I won't be connecting on anybody. But OG still have a slight advantage here being still moonlit. GH and No-Tail having a bit of back and forth. Ones will break. What a tight... Yeah, this, this game, this series even, has been really very enjoyable. Wait. Uh, Kuroki just used a, a, a second smoke in the space of like 30 seconds and he still has two more. This guy is stockpiling smokes. Yeah. That's our chance, guys. Half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, Tidehunter's kind of stalled a little bit. Radiant Went for a ghost set. Oh, that's a nice neutral attack. item, though. Cranky coat. Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> oh, yeah, just let him hit people more. Keep hitting the tide. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. 
Another smoke into smoke. Slark at the front lines. Where's the Ravage? The jump in from my control. No Ravage yet. They get the Guardian Angel off in time. No tell. Cast his spells and they focus the PA with the Slark now. Onto Miracle. It's turned him up. Half HP PA. Forced to BKB. And now jump towards Thompson. But the Pulse Cross is there. Roll back in to try and size them up. Stop Thompson getting the magic damage off. But he's got an E Blade. Gets away from the PA. Keeps jumping forward towards that. The Spider Legs. Away from the Will O' Wisp. But the Cottle gets off that big white light and forces the Slark to run away from the fight. As GH is the one casualty so far. Forced to buy back. Seb forced after, way by no tail. We giving chase forward still, but RTW turns to face the DP. They have Blink Ravage still. BKBs are down. DP with a good silence for the Yules under the tide. And the jump towards Saxa. E Blade there saves the Mirana. PA Miracle has no BKB. Burst out by Saxa and Topsa. Now under the tide. Mind control. He doesn't even want to use Ravage at this point. They're going to lose Wee, the bigger target instead. And it really is. Into the meat grind. Enigma Go turned into sausage by OG. Thompson on a killing spree, and Saxa, he's got, oh yeah he does, Yules into Arrow yet again, but Slark finding it another tasty morsel, a double kill for Slark, a huge fight. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. side as he's blown up by the E-Blade and now it's a two versus five. Middle barracks are under OG could maybe think about going for tier four. They can't go for multiple lanes of middle, barracks. Middle Either it's take this mid lane and then shift back to push out side lanes or they go for tier fours. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Yeah. Dyer's middle barracks is on. Safety. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Invisibility! And now Slark is going through that jungle, finding all the observers and sentries that have been placed down by Nigma. Getting rid of all that real wonderful vision that Kuroki has spent a long time placing, along with GH, of course. And it feels like it might be smoke time again. They're all grouped up mid. Radiant are scanning. Roshan fast spawn is now, and it is a fast spawn. Ten seconds. Yeah. Thank you. RTW so good at playing that recon role, playing frontline as the Slark invis and shadow bladed up. But the wraparound from Nigma here, this could. Oh, it's gorgeous on the top, so they find the jump now. The ravage with the Willow has on them. It's huge from Nigma. They've made the jump, but they've got the play. Set back to BKB and run away. Sucks up. RTW all under the moonlight shadow. OG full retreat into reverse mode. Sucks is still going to get rolled on, though. GH finds the catch somehow. That vision on the high ground. Just about spots them, and RTW is the bigger target, but he BKB TPs. So back to Saxa with the Yules up into the air. No leaps remaining. Two, three quick kills in a row from Nigma, and they know that Tier 4s... Tier 4s are open. Oh yeah, Roche is alive, you're right, of course.
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Crystal Blade. Oh man. I was, I was just before that fight, I was looking at the graph and seeing, you know, you, you mentioned at 30 minutes that 10k swing from about 9k lead down to zero up to 13k I saw at one point for OG, and now it's 2k. That's it. The difference between the two sides, the massive swings. We got to be a little bit careful in that mid lane though, as LTW is hunting him. Silver Edge Basher trying to get forward with a Storm Hammer, but the jump not coming. OG retreat. GH going for the full roll back to his tier threes. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh yeah. Illusion. Time to. S <laughs> mm. He can sell that casual sand that he's got for himself. Enigma around the Roche pit, even though the big man isn't in here. They scout out the jump onto Miracle is a pretty good one. Trying to burst through him, and the false promise under the slot will allow that to happen. So OG jump in and jump out, but they're gonna have to shake it here as the no tail Omni Knight silenced up, but that's a Minotaur hone on Omni Knight though. Yeah, hey, he's gonna be able to keep himself alive, but ravaged up. Catch a slark on the very edge of that one. No buyback on Omni Knight. Sven turns the fight, but the ghost ever from the tide, and now the will is coming. A BKB from Slark allows him to actually target, focus in onto the PA, but he's got to run with no backup remaining. Sanksa leaps away. Forced to yules and run. Are they chasing? Again, we run. The next label play. The next label play. Let's freaking go, even without Omni Knight for 30 seconds. Uh, LTW's got... Radiance oh, onto DP attack. maybe? No, 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 that's a cheese. <laughs> Radiance middle attack has fallen. And they've got to come back again and deal with that top lane. Tier 4 has fallen. Radiant are scanning. Does RTW go for it right now? Does he want to hold buyback? It feels like it feels like the game is getting to this like all-in moment. And here comes Nigma. Oh my god, Sven and the Omni, they jump straight in. The Minotaur Horn, I mean, it buys a second of time for No-Tail, but yet again, he's dead without buyback. And another five versus four for Nygma to exploit. <laughs> and I can push that top lane all the way in. Here we go. Scardy, Rapier, Basher, BKB, Silver Edge, trying to finish off Abyssal Blade as well. It is Radiant's really tower is under on attack. this Slark's shoulders now to stick on that PA and make sure Miracle dies. Oh, that arrow. 
Dealt with by the Phantom Strike back from the PA. And the perfect position really here for Nigma to be in. That Radiant Triangle and that dual pronged attack into both the top and the mid lane. Yep. Moonlight Shadow. Jump towards Wii. They get the Storm Hammer Arrow combo. Chain stunned him, and that's the damage from my LTW. <laughs> Ooh. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I know I can trust you guys. They're finding PA, they're finding... Oh my god, if Miracle stepped up that ramp, he was dead. Topson holding gem. I... Oh, I guess, yeah, it could just be KB. Try and get it out there. Just under two minutes for the first uh, fast Roshan respawn. Plenty of time here for both teams to wait for. Catapult waves are coming as well. The double catapults. So if something goes poorly here for either side, it could be a big push in towards one of the bases. Bottom oh, does Slug finish it? He just buys up a Vanguard Dyer's casually. Tower has Still another six, well, 800 gold actually, off of the Abyssal Blade. It's like very deliberate, very consistent, but looks mental at the same time, the way he jumps in. I think we saw him play Slug the other day as well, where he did have a Magnus on his team and he went Ags in the end, yeah. Scanning. And it looked... Double damage. Yeah. Series winning hero. Roshan, what is the deal? Three seconds to go until we find out. Nigma holding on to one smoke on Kuro. Again? You're kidding. <laughs> Hype series. Yep. <laughs> Look at Nigma again with this really swift wraparound play. Sven spends his Storm Hammer, but a quick blink out by Seb. The Abyssal Blade catch, though, in from RTW. The Ravage will stop him in his tracks as we nearly get blown up but turns with the BKB. Slark gets the full throws on him, but the Will Wisp is there as No-Tail blown up completely out off the face of the map. But Miracle, he's in trouble now. RTW giving chase, he holds up into the air, and they've got the arrow and the Star Storm. 30 block from Tide is not enough, and BA's dead for 100 seconds. The Rapiers are all over the place. GH, he's trying to roll himself out of this one, and Wee's exorcism goes star flying around but Nigma have lost out so heavily four heroes down the double buyback comes and Kotal shredded now by Saxon with a double kill Dyer's middle tower is under attack it's all coming back Dyer's middle tower has fallen Slark with double rapier on your base now. Game three potentially coming to a close. No PA, no tide for a solid minute on both sides. And they've got a storm out there and a false promise, allowing LTW just to munch away the rest of Nigma. GG is called, and the series goes to OG.